let's go it is january the 28th 2018 this is going to be day 17 of my 50 days of inspirational quotes today's quote if you're not careful the newspapers will have you hating the people who are oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing that's malcolm x um you know on the surface that quote you know it, it, i mean you you would just assume one way with that quote but but Malcolm X was a different cat. Um, I grew up really kind of infatuated with Malcolm X for, you know, a, I guess a very influential time in my life, you know. Um, I think when you're anywhere between like 11 and 15 years old, that, that kind of really molds you into who you are um, those years specifically, I think. And... Uh, during that time frame, I was just infatuated with Malcolm X. Um, and uh, he was, I don't know, he was just, he was somebody that I looked at and I was just like, man, I mean, this dude is, you know, alpha male, like strong, like intelligent, like, you know, um, that's just kind of how I looked at him. And I don't remember when the Denzel Washington movie came out. Um, but it was just, it was all around kind of that era for me. Um, my aunt, she she dated predominantly black males and, um, and I always looked up to them. I thought they were like the coolest thing ever. And one of them gave me an African beaded Malcolm X necklace. And uh, it was like my favorite, like my favorite necklace. Like I love this thing. And, and so one day I decided that I was gonna wear it to school this was like during the whole cross color era. So I had my cross color outfit on with my Malcolm X African beaded necklace. And man, <laughs> nobody liked that I was rocking that thing. The white kids didn't like that I was rocking it. The black kids didn't like that I was rocking it. And I've told this story on here before, but the one kid that stood up for me was this kid that I really didn't know very well. He was Asian. I later found out that he was Buddhist and um, and he was the one that that stuck up for me, stuck up, that stood up for me. Um, and uh, yeah, but but that was like my favorite necklace. And there was just always something about Malcolm X. Um, so, you know, I know a lot of people may disagree with a lot of the things that he did and represented in this world. But uh, me personally, um, there'll always be kind of something there for me uh when it comes to him and, and just the way that i look back on him and uh some of the quotes some of the interviews that i saw with him his ideology the way that he uh thought about things you know he was somebody that you know i i don't know i guess i have a lot of respect for people that can just say it how it is right whatever's on their mind like they just say it like this is exactly how i feel whether you like me for it or you hate me for it this is who i am and I don't mind people like that. Like, whether I agree with you or I disagree with you, I know where you stand. And and I'm good with that. Because it's the fake people that, that are a struggle for me to get, right? If you're fake, I don't really know. I don't know what you stand for. I don't know what you represent. But if you're honest, if you're genuine, and you speak the truth, hey, I'm good, you know? I had a friend back home that used to always say, real, recognize, real, you know? It's just kind of how I see it, you know what I mean? And to me, I always consider him to be pretty real. Um, so whether I agreed with something he said or I didn't agree with something he said, I knew what he was saying was genuine, or at least I felt as though it was genuine. That's how it came off. So, you know, for me, um, I don't know. I always liked that. I always respected that. And this particular quote, I just think, and I think if you could really think about this quote and, and really just take it to another level um, you can see it's a pretty deep quote on the surface it may just seem like it's just a quote um, it's pretty obvious what he's saying but if you really understand the media and you understand everything um, it's a pretty deep quote if you're not careful the newspapers will have you hating those who are oppressed and loving those who are doing the oppressing Malcolm X anyways it's a little rainy outside today um, it's one of those days where I kind of just wanted to lay in bed and not really do anything, but, uh, went to church today. It was my volunteer week 
And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to go out and go grocery shopping later, but I'm hoping the rain will go away. Otherwise, I'm gonna wanna just sleep and listen to the rain. Fun fact, I love to do that. I know I'm not the only one. But anyways, I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna keep moving forward. I'm always gonna trust the process, and I will talk to y'all later. I am out.